a uh, um, great at this point uh, to get to scrimmage day, um, find out a lot about our, our football team. Uh, excited to go watch the video here tonight and get them in the building tomorrow. Uh, great to be under the lights here inside of uh, Neyland Stadium. And um, tonight we had a bunch of families that, uh, that were out watching their sons uh, go compete. So uh, it was a lot of fun just hanging out with them a little bit uh, before we got started with warm-ups and uh, a great night for Tennessee football. So open it up. What did you like or who did you like on offense? Um, I thought Deshaun Bishop uh, had, a, had a really nice night. Um, efficient, effective, ran hard. Um, thought he did a really nice uh, job. Uh, I thought, you know, our White House did a, a good job of operation. Uh, Chris Brazel, um, you know, obviously a squirrel, um, but uh, seeing Chaz and, and Caleb out there competing and playing extremely well. Um, so uh, I thought the quarterbacks operated uh, really well uh, for almost the entire night. So it was good work. Yeah, Ethan, Ethan did, uh, did a really nice job. The, the tight ends in general um, handled themselves uh, really well. Uh, just from where we finished spring ball, how we started training camp to tonight, uh, just continued growth from that entire group. Ethan Davis uh, made some really nice plays over the, the middle of the football field. Uh, excited about what he's done, but also what that entire group has done. Did you like the back and forth you have between the offense and the defense? Yeah. The group responded from maybe not, not so good drives and coming back. Yeah, there's going to be give and take, or hopefully there's, there's give and take. Uh, in particular, though, I thought our defense played extremely hard, uh, played really physical um, early in the scrimmage, did a great job on, on third downs. Um, you know, our front four, relentless. Um, I thought our secondary played really well uh, early in the scrimmage as well. Really, really pleased with, uh, with how they started. I asked Kelsey this other day. Can you talk about Nathan Leacock and kind of get his progression as he's kind of turned the corner it yeah. like during fall camp? Yeah, um, you know, just injured uh, during a good amount of, of spring ball, hampers a little bit of his development, uh, his growth through the summer, but how he started here in training camp, catching the ball extremely well. Uh, tonight, uh, he did a really nice job uh, playing wide receiver, efficient, um, making some plays uh, after the catch as well. And then uh, special teams did a really nice job early in the scrimmage when, uh, when we were in special teams emphasis. Josh, what, what did you, you mentioned secondary, you were pleased with tonight. Yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, one, uh, they've been great for uh, for the seven days before we got to, to the scrimmage tonight. Or compete extremely hard, uh, take coaching. They've made plays. They learn from mistakes. Uh, their athleticism uh, tonight played some really tight coverage down the field. Um, just within the game, the, the subtle details that allow you to play it at a really high level, uh, in particular corners tonight, I thought they did a really, really good job. Did you guys use the in helmet comm system and if so, how was it? What was it like for the guys on the field and for you as a coach? Yeah, we had a trial run with uh, with all the changes inside of, uh, of college football. Um, the headset communication, we've been using uh, that at, at practice as well. Uh, tonight, that was really pretty seamless. Um, we used the iPads on the sideline uh, as well, tried to structure in some timeouts where we got a chance to to figure out how we're going to use it, operate it, um, all of the logistics that, uh, that go with it, which there's a lot more than, than what you would think. How did Nico look in those red zone opportunities? Uh, I thought he looked good uh, throughout the course of the night. Uh, just decision making, body position. Um, you know, there's going to be some throws he's going to want back, um, but uh, he played really well. With the, with the injury to Jordan Thomas, obviously, it's yeah. an opportunity for, for Boo. What did you see for him tonight, and what do you need to keep seeing from him? Yeah, I, I haven't talked to you since uh, Jordan's uh, injury, I don't think, and I and, uh, hate it for him, um, you know, non-contact. And, and um, you know, that's a guy that's just steadily grown um, inside of our program as, as a player, as a person off the field, as a leader inside of our room. Um, it's a tough thing about this game. And, um, you know, it, he's handled it with a ton of maturity. Um, just being in the building, being around, being out here tonight with the guys, it matters to him. Uh, and the guys care about him in a, in a great way, too. So uh, it gives all the guys opportunities. Um, you know, Boo's played really well. I, I thought the last couple of days, even leading into the scrimmage, have been his best day just within the scope of, of what we do defensively, playing within the framework of that and making plays at the same time. Uh, he's a young guy that needs to and will continue to get better every day, but he's a dynamic playmaker. Josh, what did you say to Peyton Lewis tonight in addition to yeah. Sean? Yeah, for first time for contact since coming back off the injury. 
young player, you would expect it, but it's happened for him. He's gotten better, more comfortable absolutely every single day tonight. Uh, a lot of really good things, playing with great pad level. There's, there's some runs that, uh, that he'll uh, have an opportunity to grow from uh, as well. Yeah, they get some linemen out tonight. What, at what point do you feel comfortable with those guys? In the first world, would you like to get them back by next Thursday scrimmage? Yeah, listen, um, you know, vets in the NFL play too. You know what I mean? There, there's a ramp up and a build up to be ready to go play. Um, you know, some of the guys that have missed the last couple of days got to get back and get some of that work, whether it's got to necessarily be a scrimmage. Um, depends a little bit on the player and the amount of time that they've had on task. Um, the, the balance for myself, our coaching staff, is always to have these guys ready to go play. They got to grow as players, they got to be prepared uh, for the opening kickoff. Um, and the schedule that we're going to play at the same, same time, have them uh, as fresh and healthy and ready to compete uh, for the duration. We, we talked to Glenn earlier in the week, and he said that and you specifically had mentioned the, the emphasis on developing depth on the offensive line. Yeah. What, what, what I'm glad he mentioned that to you guys. Just the, what, what, where did that come from? Is that because the last year you guys had some injuries, and where do you feel like you guys are in developing your six, seven, eight, nine, so on? As, as a program, we want that and we need that. Um, Everybody here, our fan base understands, you know, how we took this program over and, you know, how we've had to have a, a really detailed plan in managing the, the space that we had to navigate. Um, we are creating more depth, um, but this is a long season. Inside of this league, you get into league play, um, you got to have multiple guys ready to go. And so it's just been important to us, um, you know, this off season. I've stated that this offseason. We've also talked about that in previous years, too. It's just build, being able to build that depth. How was the, the scrimmage structured? A lot of goal line, a lot of red zone. However you did structure it, why did you do it that way? Um, this one, uh, there's some uh, special teams uh, for us at the, the very beginning. Um, we get some drives. We get some coming out. Uh, we get some short yardage um, and, uh, you know, operate ones, twos, and threes. And, let them go play. You know, tonight was unique because it's the first time for, you know, iPads on the sideline. So um, we adjusted and, and tried to, you know, create TV timeouts where we had an opportunity to, to do that between our sets. Justin, sort of joking with all the officials for clarification when you came in here. How yeah. clean, how clean did you feel like your operation was offensively and defensively? Communication, sideline communication, substitution, yeah. penalty free. How, how clean did you yeah, I mean, there were some yellow hankies on the field. I didn't yell at the officials tonight, you know. Um, I thought uh, the officials uh, actually did a, did a great job on, on the back end of the scrimmage, talking to our football team about some of the things that the, they saw. Um, it was a really pretty clean scrimmage for, for scrimmage one. Um, communication, um, you know, personnel, there weren't any issues with, with any of that. There's some playing penalties that we got to get smarter at. Um, that's always the case at this point, and, and um, you know you got to learn how to play extremely hard, but play it with great technique and uh, know when the play is over and and, uh, and get yourself in a position where you don't hurt the team. Does it help? <clears throat> you talk about the iPad stuff. I mean, high schools have been doing that for a while. I mean, does it help that a lot of these kids? You know, it may be new to you know the college game, but to the yeah. high school game, they're kind of used to. It. Yeah, I'm. Uh, more concerned about the coaches than I am the the players. To to, to be honest, it, it's a better tool than somebody having to draw something up on the whiteboard. So, visual learners um, always, and and uh, so it, it'll be a good tool as long as you use it the right way as a coach. Talk about Boo a minute ago, but who else at the star spot? Do you feel like kind of stepped up. Christian time? Harrison's done done a really nice job. We got multiple guys that uh, that can bounce around. You know, from the safety position to the star. Um, so uh, we got to continue to build, you know, our guys in the secondary. But again, uh, tonight, really pleased with what they did. What did you think of Gaston and Jake and how they operated the yeah. offense? Yeah, uh, both of them uh, did a great job operating the offense, uh, but they really have all training camp. Mercy, young guy, continues to get better every single day. Uh, he's great. He has great confidence. He works extremely hard at it. Uh, he's got a really good energy in the huddle. Uh, his demeanor's uh, really positive. Uh, Gaston, um, He's done a, a really efficient job uh, tonight. Made some really nice throws out on the run. Uh, he's done that all training camp. Uh, he's taken pretty good care of the football throughout the course of training camp too. Um, so uh, pleased with the devel development of those guys. How was Joey Gibson at the point of contact and his power that he's playing with? 
Yeah, uh, D. Samp wasn't uh, in the scrimmage uh, tonight. We held him out of the scrimmage. What has what has Will Brooks done to sort of position himself where he where he is in the secondary? Yeah, um, guy that's played a lot of football for us. Um, you know, has been on defense. Obviously, his role on special teams. A guy that's a, a leader inside of that that secondary room. Uh, he's played really well. Will's going to play a lot of football for us. Yeah, um, a year ago before he got hurt, really liked how he was flashing in practice and, and early in the scrimmage. Um, he's very consistent, really proud of how he's rebounded from the injury. Just his continued growth as a, as a person is, you know, um, the way that he approaches every day as he comes into the building. Um, he, uh, he's got great vision, great pace. He does a really good job of using the blockers in front of him and setting those blockers up and uh, ran with great pad level tonight, got, got uh, pad under pad.